Hi, Sajid. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. So, can you tell us something about yourself? Yeah. So, uh, my name is Sajid and I'm working as an automation test engineer. So, I have like more than five years of experience in the automation. So, so I work in the UK. Uh, it's, it's one MNC company. So, yeah. So, that's it about me. Great, great. So recently I came to know that you have got selected in one of the company. So would you like to share about your success story with us and what was your journey? How many companies did you give interview and how did you apply in those companies? Yeah, definitely. So the my journey was started like a uh, first, uh, you know, like uh, when I was planning to give the, I mean, to switch the company. Mm -hmm. So I started with the, with the big companies like uh, Apple and the Amazon. Uh, so, so, so what I did actually, so I just sent to the my CV to the company directly the company, so the my CV was shortlisted. It was actually I would say it's luck actually. So my CV was selected uh, in the Apple as well as the Amazon actually. So, but thing is like uh, the first round was like something like a technical round, and second was the coding round in the Amazon actually. So so yeah, but the, at the end in the panel like in the behavior round, so Amazon has a different rounds like the. Uh, like the uh, the first is like a catch up and the second is like a coding round and third one is like a behavior like they more than like four to five members than the panel so i was rejected in the panel actually so in the behavior round so uh, and the other side like uh, the other interview was like a, uh, apple so in the apple i was uh, rejected in the second round so you know i was fed up like uh, so you know like uh, because i started in the big company so i thought like let's go with the lower company so because you know like once you rejected from the big company so the, my plan was like let's start with the lower company so i started with the lower companies like a kpmg and the other company was there like uh, uh, it was like a sage it's also available in the india and the other is like a swissery so all of the companies are available in the india as well so the so so in the in the kpmg they offered me like a senior role senior uh, uh, automation engineer so it's not off. I mean the 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 like they offered me the entry for a senior role. So first uh, it was like the first it was like a generally catch up with the different QA members. So so it's general discussion about like a, about the testing plans and just normal questions. And the the second was a coding round, and the third was the behavior round. So so I would find I found like it's really strange uh, strange because the thing is like uh, I was rejected in the behavior round. I don't know, but somehow I was rejected. Because, you know, like uh, they said me like during the interview, so they said like uh, you are a very strong candidate for the, uh, at the technical level, but the, the behavior level, they ask me some like very, like, you know, very silly question, like, uh, like, uh, tell me about your story, something, tell me about this, the book you read. They give me some, ask some really silly question, but, but then I was rejected in the final round. So, so I, so I moved to the other, I mean, the other interview were also going on. So there were other company like a Sage. So in this age, uh, uh, like I got hired actually. So the thing is like, uh, there were three rounds in the company as well, like, uh, the technical coding and the, the behavior round. So I got selected in the, the in the in the companies. It was like a sage. So, uh, but thing is, uh, they didn't give me the offer because, uh, you know, they uh, the last year, I mean the, in the December. So the, at the end, they changed, like they said, like, uh, there was some change. There's there, there's some changes in the company positions. So because the thing is, you know, like in the UK, uh, like I, uh, like uh, I'm on tier two skill skill worker visa. You know, it's like a working visa. So okay. to to switch from the current of a company to another company, you need a sponsorship. Mm -hmm. So so it did like uh, when the recruiter uh, contacted me the first time, they said, yeah, company is is willing to give you the sponsorship. But mm -hmm. the end they said like uh, there's some changing, there's some there's some issue with the company. There's some issue in business. So they said like uh, they are not giving the sponsorship. But you know, like you're spending lots of time with the company. At the end, they say like because of this reason, okay, that's fine, leave it. The the last company I say the Swissery, uh, so it's available in the India as well. It's a big company actually. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so I I, I they, they were like very unprofessional. I never seen this kind of the company. Mm -hmm. So the Swissery was like a, they offered me like a senior a QA engineer role. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, so in the first round, they asked me some kind of the question, like the QA based question mm -hmm. and the and the second round, like some coding round and the third round. So everything was done. So they said, yeah, they're happy to giving the everything offer something. 
But at the end, after the December, they said like uh, again, there's some changing in the position because you know that time like, there were lots of layoff and everything is going on. So they said like uh, there's some changing in the position. So mm -hmm. we will inform you. Uh, so, but in the January, I got to know that they said like uh, there's some changing in the position. So we can't. Uh, we there's no like position. There's no more position. So we are not going to continue the offers. Okay. So I was completely, you know, so that the three were offered completely rejected. Mm. So I thought, let's start with a new journey again. So in the January, I started again, the interview process. January so, you know, 2023, you mean? Yeah, exactly this year. So uh, so it's, it's really hard, you know, like uh, you you got a rejection back to back. Mm. Uh, it's not a rejection, but you know, you, you didn't get an offer actually. You mm. are, you are. So so I started again in the January. Mm. So it, it was very hard to, you know, like once you, when, to start the process again, it's very hard. Like you need to apply again to the companies and then you need to be, you need to like select it for that company because in the because even in our India it's very easy like for example like you there's no kind of the issue about the visa but mm -hmm. in the UK there's, a, there's lots of issue like uh, the 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 less company here who are giving your offer I mean the visa sponsorship mm -hmm. so I was uh, very you know like I was very tense because it's very difficult yes. so but but I took the step again I started again. Mm. So, so recently one of the company, so they gave me the like interview offer. So, I mean, they, they gave me the interview. Mm. So it was three round actually. So the first round was the, the QA round to catch up with the different developers and the QA team members actually. Mm. So, yeah. So, so I got select. I mean, I was senior. Role. They offered me for senior role. So they said, yeah, very strong candidate. Then again, they offered me for the coding round. So mm. in the coding round, they were like, uh, the 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 coding round with the different developers so so it, i i cleared the coding round as well and the third round was the manager round so in the manager round also i cleared it so they finally they gave me the offer so that's really? my journey actually. yeah so many many congratulations for the offer would you like to tell us something about the range of the hike or appraisal that so, you yeah yeah so the hike i would say is all more than double so i would say in the in the term of the range, I would say it's between like uh, they offered me something like a sixty to seventy between. Okay, sixty to seventy percentage. Yeah, yeah. So they gave me the hike. So this really it's really useful for me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that too in this time of layoff, recession, cost cutting. This... Yeah, exactly. So yeah, I was really really lucky. <laughs> yeah, this kind of hike is really good. So once again, congratulations. Uh, would you like to tell us something about the interview questions those were asked to you if you can share your screen if you have those handy yeah definitely i, I already prepared it so let me share my screen yes. you can click on share screen option i have given you sharing rights yeah yeah so it's asking for the permission let me give it the permission it is still asking you the permission. Let me see. Yeah, I've given you the permission of all participants. Yeah, you can just click on share screen. No, it says it's, a, it's asking for the, my system. Like it says, like Zoom asking you for to access your system. Yeah, yeah. So just yeah. click on allow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, that's the second. Oh, let me share again. Yeah. Hmm. Can you see it? Yes, calendar. That's November 2023. Yeah, so let me... Can you see it? The yes. notes? Yes, yes. Two rounds, technical and manager. Yeah. Yeah, so the uh, so there were two rounds. So the first round was the... Uh, it's a technical round. So it's all about the QA question. So in the QA round, they asked me first, like, uh, so there were like uh, three members uh, during the interview. So one was developer, one, one, two are the QA members. So they asked me, like, uh, the, what is the test plan, the test plan strategy, type of testing you perform, like, you know, like functional, non-functional, in non-functional, you perform like a load, uh, I mean, the, I mean, different type of uh, uh, non-functional testings. So like security systems testing or the performance testing, what kind of the performance testing you're performing, the usability testing. So different kind of the, uh, like a different type of the testing. And the uh, automation framework, like how do you set up the automation uh, test framework? Like what kind of the uh, pattern you use? So like, uh, so I said like a 
page of jayco depends on the project requirements so they ask like how do you set up the uh, the project in your re real time environment so they ask me so i, I given like a page object model data driven keyword driven depends on the requirements so they ask me different number of the difference between each type of the patterns and the <clears throat> and they ask me like uh, what do you think about the bdd like uh, do you think like they ask me like do you think it's a bdd is really useful for the company so so i said so i given the answer like the bdd depends on the like what kind of the involvement of the different team members so there's a there's a, if the if the different team member really want to involved in the in the project i mean in the testing team so that's really helpful otherwise i don't see the usability of the bdd so they said okay so then they asked me like a tdd like what do you think about tdd and how do you involve in the with the developments so so i said like uh, i involve in the unit testing with the come up with the different scenarios so to you know like in the unit testing to cover the to cover the different number of the scenarios so i said uh, i i generally work with the developers in the tdd fashion and then ask me about the api framework like uh, how do you create api frameworks and what kind of the testing you perform in the api like uh, at the, i mean the end to end so in the api so and the they also asked me like uh, how do you schedule your test automation like uh, so i said so i said like uh, generally we uh, i generally we schedule through the windows scheduler also the jenkins but depends on the requirements so they said like uh, like uh, how do you set up through the windows scheduler so i just said the step like uh, you can create a batch file and then you can set on the particular time so you, you can run on different uh, times so they said okay so then they asked me about the performance testing so they were really focused on the test performance testing like how do you perform the performance testing like like how do you create the different loads and how do you like know that like this is high thread and this, i mean this is high uh, load and this is low load so i given like a I, I i shared the different type of testing like a load spike stress so so they asked me about they were more focused about the performance testing so so they really found it interesting so they said yeah you have a good knowledge about the performance testing so in the first round they asked me this kind of the question so the first round was the really strong so i feel like i really strong the second round was the coding round so in the coding round so they asked me like uh, based on the they given the string so because i work in javascript so they given the visual studio code so they said like uh, there was string like you need to filter out the particular number from the string so for example like uh, this is string like uh, today ticket price is 100 pound and discount is 50% so they said to just filter out the numbers correct and they, so you can use so they said you can you can use either the pattern matching like you can use the regular expression or either you can you can use the main code like you can use the array or the, you can just filter out you can iterate out each element it's up to you so i use the pattern uh, the pattern matching that you can pass directly the regular expression like percentage d or uh, so they really so they're very happy like i just in a, within a second i finished the uh, the first question the second question was the found the duplicate you know i need to count the duplicate number of the uh, words in the given the array list so yeah i finished the dead code as well but i i was stuck here so mm -hmm. they given actually so i need to guess the output of that program so but i didn't i like i didn't give the accurate answer but the thing is because you know the the question was about the so they were given some method like this mm. error, error method like error reduce methods mm -hmm. so I, I asked them like uh, if you give me the clarification about that method because it's a predefined method so so i said if you give me the uh the description about the method so i can try to predict the output so they said like if you give me the, the if you give the uh, method behavior then you will easily know that so i said like it's very difficult otherwise i'm just guessing something yes. so so i was so so i was trying something number so they said yeah okay you got the first stage then it's okay then uh, so they said okay you know the everything let's move on the other stage mm. so the, the first round the, the coding round was successfully so they said yeah you're clear the round and last round was the manager round so this round i found very difficult compared to the first two mm -hmm. because uh, they were asking me based on the my experience actually so, so in the round, there were like four members, two manager and one Q and one developer. So there mm -hmm. were four members in the round. So in the round, they asked me like, uh, uh, tell me about your, like, uh, what skills and experience can you bring for this role? And the, like, uh, like, uh, like what activities motivate you at work and, uh, what are long, long term goals and why do you looking for the change? And, if, and then other, the interesting question they were asking me, like, uh, tell me about the time when you lead a project mm. and then tell me about uh, uh, tell me a time when you have uh, unclear requirements 
and tell me about when you have the analyze the problem and give the simple solutions. Mm -hmm. So this 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 kind of question they were asked me during the interview. Yes, yes. Yeah, and the and the other company like I said earlier. So I given the interview in KPMG as well. Mm -hmm. So the KPMG I found this. They were like they were really you know like the the interview was really strong at the coding level mm. so same question they were asking me like there were two round in the the first round was the the technical the technical there are test plan how do you create test plan test type and uh, the performance testing now do you set up the automation framework mm. and the the coding round so the coding round was really interesting in the kpmg so they were asking me like a uh, first stage like when they informed me about the coding run they said like uh just prepare the automation like so at the time of the interview you don't need to download the packages just set up the basic uh setup and then so we don't need to waste the time on the during the coding round mm. so but uh, when i was started the interview the, i mean the, i was giving the coding round uh, the coding round so they uh, they said delete everything just create from the scratch so i was really surprised you told me uh, like earlier you mm. don't need to uh download the packages just prepare the uh, base i mean the uh -huh. base automation framework then you can we will give you the task so yeah. they said no we, I, so the interview said just we want to see like how do you create from the scratch uh -huh. okay that's fine so uh -huh. even though i create, uh, create from the scratch like they said give me like uh they said like create a page object model and the they given the url of the company they said find the jobs from the they list out the different jobs they said just store in their list and filter out and validate the particular job specific job so i finished the task so then after they said like uh like uh how do you how do you optimize this code so i said like uh i can uh, i can divide the more code into different modules so we can reuse on over the time so they said okay and the other said they said like uh uh like uh how do you modularize the code so i said i i can divide i can make the you know like uh like open the open the browser and define the element. I can make the method in the common generic so you can we can re reuse over the time. So they said they said okay. Then last one round was the manager round. So I was rejected in this round. It was really funny. I found so they said like how would your friend describe you? And they said like how would your teammate describe you? And sell the agile. this question I I never seen over the interviews. Sell yeah. the agile model. They said like. Uh, if you get a chance to sell the agile model to the different mm -hmm. company, like how do you sell the agile model? Uh -huh. So, uh, and they tell me, uh, tell me a story about any, your cooking experience or your, or your first book you read. So I was, you know, like sometimes you stuck like with, when you make a story actually. Mm -hmm. So, so I, I, I was feeling like, you know, I was not delivering the story at a perfect level, mm -hmm. but uh, at the end I got uh, informed, they informed me like, uh, we are not going to continue with it with you so I mean, okay that's okay and then yeah then yeah so yeah so i i did follow up like what was the issue like so mm -hmm. they said like you were very repetitive repeated over the time so they said okay <laughs> then luckily okay that's fine because i got rejection then okay then then luckily i got a chance to work this this new company so correct correct mm -hmm. because learning is always part of the, your journey so agree agree with you yeah true so this is good insight. At least uh, you are able to recall all these type of questions. This will yeah. be quite helpful to the community out there. Is it possible if you can share this uh, notepad in an email? Of yeah, definitely. Week? I will share it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so this is good. Yeah. Okay. So we can. Anything else you would like to share? We can, or else we can stop sharing the screen. Yeah, that's fine. That's, I'm just. Uh, that's that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so you gave interviews in companies like Apple, Amazon, and then you gave interviews in companies like KPMG. So almost 10 to 15 plus interviews you have given. So what was your preparation strategy? Like apart from doing daily routine work in your existing company where you might be working. So how did you take out your time to prepare for all these kind of companies? So, yeah, so it's very hectic, you know, like when you work, when you're already working with some companies and when you are giving some interview, so it's very, you know, it's very, it's very difficult to manage your time. So, so what I did actually, so generally I prepare in the weekend time. So like uh, I list out the, I just filter out the, the number of the question I need to prepare based on the, like on the API level or in the, on the automation level. So I just, you know, the thing is in the interview, like at, at the practical level, you know, the everything like. Mm -hmm. about you like uh, that like you you write a code everything but you know at the interview level they ask you some based on some theory level for example like uh, mm -hmm. if they ask mm -hmm. you like what is the status code of the particular api like if the api fail 
but you know you sometimes you don't remember this kind of the question at the pact i mean the theory level but you know at the practical level like how do you opt, yeah, how do you like uh, write the code at the different levels but some sometimes you don't uh, like remember the some some theory level questions so it was very difficult for me so i need to remember all the theory questions like you know the, the, the what kind of the testing you perform and the so i just prepare in the weekend time i list out the just i filter out the different type of testing i mean the the main first time what i did actually first i filter out the the manual testing question so these are the manual testing question like type of testing what and the uh, test levels and test plan test strategy so once i finish the manual part then i move to the api level i just i mean the, the theory level so mm -hmm. I just prepared like what kind of question they can ask me like uh, the different level of the API level and the automation level. So I so I prepared the whole documents like uh, this kind of question. Maybe they can ask me. I mean, at the theory level, not at the practical level. Mm -hmm. So that's how I prepare actually. Okay, great, great. Right. Now, what, what do you think? How many pages should we have a resume? Should we have in our resume like... Do you think one page is sufficient or do you think, and what all details should we add in your, in our CV? So generally, I, I generally, I don't see any issue, but some people say like two is two or three, four, maybe I, I but I'm not sure. But from the, my perspective, mm -hmm. I like, uh, I have like a more than, more than two pages. So I like my CV is like more than two pages, but mm -hmm. my CV was selected in Apple and, and Amazon as well. So I don't see any issue with the few the two pages or more than two pages, but it depends like uh, how do you structure your CV? So it depends. Like a uh, first, uh, generally, like a uh, first, uh, like as a candidate, you should mention your. Uh, I would say like the your working skills, the experience mm -hmm. at the top of the page. I mean, at the, at the top of the resume, like what kind of task you perform, you performed, or you have done in your past. Like uh, you performed, like or you, you are able to create the, you know, like you create a summary, like a, mm -hmm. like in the LinkedIn. So you need to create a summary in the in top of the page, like a uh, you are able to create the automation framework, or the you are able to create the API. Uh, API framework, or you perform this kind of the API testing task. You perform the performance testing. So at least you know the the like any recruiter can easily filter out like what kind of skills you have rather than to rather than then can ask you. So I personally feel like you have to mention the the whatever task you have performed. Not a, I'm not in the the what kind of the skills you have actually. Mm -hmm. so you have to mention so like uh, generally the most of the recruiter have the tools like so based on the tool they just select you. So, so I think so. You have to mention each and every points like uh, the according to the market, like the performance testing, automation testing, end to end the API testing, and like Cucumber and the Jenkins and the different tools. You have to mention those name in your CV. Otherwise, if you don't mention it, mm -hmm. you still you, you won't filter out. Absolutely, yeah, correct. Now, apart from that, uh, how how did you approach these kind of companies, like say Apple or Amazon? Did you approach so, someone on the LinkedIn? Yeah, yeah please go ahead. Yeah, so yeah, so yeah, so the sort of the yeah. So actually, you know, like it was my dream to to join the Amazon actually. Hmm. Uh so I was very curious to join the Amazon. So like I was like very excited to join to the Amazon, but so before to join actually, so what I did, so I applied many times in the Amazon. Hmm. Uh, so to, uh, but my CV was not selected. So, so I did a research like how to get a, you know, how to get selected in the, how do your CV get selected in the Amazon? So I did lots of research. Like, so to you, so like I said, you, you need to put your yeah, lots of keywords in the your CV, like the, like end to end testing, the API testing. So mm -hmm. I updated the CV based on the particular keywords. So, yeah. So, so when I applied the second time, my CV was selected actually. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was, uh, yeah, so then they have the actually test, I think, so Amazon, I think, so they have the standard test. So mm -hmm. you need to clear the test first, like uh, the based on the QA question. So once mm -hmm. you clear the question, I mean, the technical test, it's not about coding or down something. I don't see the coding down, but then they have like a, something like a Q assessment. So, so they will give you some kind of the, some situation based on the queue, for example, if the manager is on something on that, so they will, what kind of activity you can perform. So they can, they have kind of queue assessment test. Mm -hmm. So once you get the queue assessment test, then they will invite you on the, invite you on the second round. Like for example, it, it could be, it, it can be different. Like it can be like a coding route. It can be a, like a technical catch up or it can be anything. So, yeah. So, yeah. So you need to update your CV. I mean, you need to first, uh, you need to first take a filter out. You need to first see the job description. Yes. Based on the job description, you need to filter out the, those keywords they're looking for that. Based on the, those keywords, you need to put on your CV. And then that's the only option I can see that. Otherwise, you know, for some, you know, each each job has a different description. 
and yeah. they're looking for some diff different purposes for example mm -hmm. some job they're looking for the you know like a for like for a mobile queue engineer so if you don't put the mobile things in your cv you see you won't filter out so so you need to read the job description and then you have to update your cv based on that true okay so you mean to say you were applying directly on their career websites and uh, yeah exactly yeah directly on their career websites right mm -hmm. Okay, wonderful. So thank you so much, uh, Sajid, for sharing your success story with us, right? I am sure that it would be very much helpful to the people out over there who are looking to make their career in the software testing or who are having some experience and they are looking to make their career further in the same field, right? Anything else yeah. you would like to share? Yeah, that's it from the, my side, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. yes. But I just, I, I want to say one thing, just mm -hmm. never give up. That's the only one thing I would say you know like because failure is always part of the, your success because so when you apply for something that's a yeah always you fail for some for some reason but never give up that's the only one thing i would say to the to the whole community that's but because you know you if you don't try it you mm. you, will, you will not get a success so that's the only thing i would say just apply and just get your dream success that's the only thing i would say yeah yeah true true so thank you so much uh, sajid and once again many many congratulations congratulations to you for getting selected in multiple mnc companies right yeah thank you so much for giving me opportunity to give you the interview yeah, thank you so much for that yeah, pleasure pleasure thank you bye bye